So how do you pull someone else or yourself out of worst case scenario thinking using NLP in science? So, well, what's worst case scenario thinking? It's actually placing your mind in the future and imagine that the worst case scenario is going to happen. And that's not useful. So in this video, we're going to use the NLP meta model as well as the science of positive psychology and a line of questioning that really helps with this. Now, technically, we're also like dabbling with emotional intelligence here because what is emotional intelligence? One of the markers is reality testing. And that is the difference between what is factually going on in the environment versus your fantasy of what's going on. And worst case scenario thinking is something that hasn't happened yet and you assume it's going to have a negative outcome. Now, in the first phase of pulling someone out of it, you could say, I have a little trick. Uh, the first phase is like, if that were to happen, then you'll deal with it. You know, that's something you could say, right? That technically stops the conversation right there, right away, because they, that you're, you're pulling them back into the present. So that's really helpful. Now, the second thing you can do, okay, is to say, use the NLP meta model, but you need to do this very briefly. It's just to get their brain to switch on into the reality of what unconsciously they're fantasizing about. So you can ask, can you tell me in one or two sentences, which is the Milton model, um, what specifically, NLP meta model, is the worst case scenario? And, and so you need to make sure that you don't let them ramble and take you on a spiral down. It is has to be one or two sentences that sort of that they light up the brain of maybe already pulling them out of their um, unstrategic thinking or kind of spot them that they place themselves into the future. And, in the, in, you know, and, and it's also a little bit of highlight there. And then you need to flip them out of this map. This is a, a negative map of the pessimist who believe that when there's something happening in your world that it affects all areas of your life and it's never going to end and we're all going to die. Then you need to flip them out of that. So then you go, well, what specifically is the best case scenario? Now, notice that I'm not putting the one or two sentences limit on right now. And so then someone's so shocked, well, the best case scenario is this and then that would happen. And you can ask more NLP meta model questions. For instance, what specifically, who specifically, how specifically? And what you'll see is that someone will start their, they start to change their emotional state. They start to create images in their mind, representations in their mind of actually another option for this. You're in essence, future pacing into another result and another outcome. Now, it's fair to say that this is also not reality testing because we may, if you say we're not living in the worst case scenario world, we're also not living in the best case scenario world. And that's fair. So this is the, then is the next question that you then ask, well, what specifically is the most likely scenario? Now, what now happens is that people need to find a space between the worst case scenario and the best case scenario. But because you actually paced the best case scenario a little bit longer and you created a positive emotion and scientifically it's proven when we're in a positive emotion, we see more possibilities. We see more opportunities. We're more creative. We're more flexible. We literally in our visual cortex, can notice more what's going on. I'm on Bali right now. I just finished an NLP training here. And uh, that's why you hear the, the motor, uh, the scooters going around. And we're actually super busy today organizing a training in Portugal, believe it or not, our very first. And that's next to our locations in Mexico and Amsterdam and Los Angeles and, uh, and of course Bali here. So, so, so anyway, so you go, what specifically is the most likely scenario? And also here you can pair that up with who specifically or how specifically. And in that positive emotional state, someone comes with a more reality tested 
but positive slant on what is actually going to happen. And so that is um, a little bit of a tip, how to strategically use the NLP meta model and science in a process of uh, worst case scenario thinking. If you're interested in much more research, uh, free resources, you can of course find them on this channel. But I also have 1500 free resources available on the website at globalnoptraining.com backslash simply. And I hope to see you soon in Portugal, Mexico, Amsterdam, Los Angeles, or here in Bali. See you around.